Hi, I'm Tony Angiola, and the Assistant State Director for Virginia and STAR Team member. I've been involved in UFO research since the 1990s, and I've been working with Ben Moss on cases for a couple years now. We've been researching the Socorro landing incident in New Mexico for some time and have assembled some new and interesting evidence that we will be presenting this year at the symposium. We recently traveled to New Mexico uh, to visit Socorro and found that it's still a hotbed of activity. We hope to get back there relatively soon with some additional um, instruments and go to key locations to see what we can find. We did find some, uh, we took some interesting photographs and we're still analyzing those to see what they really are, but they seem to depict um, your typical UFOs that we see all the time. Ben and I have been working with Ray Stanford from NICAP and he introduced us to uh, magnetometers and gravimeters in his work in the 1970s with instrumented research. It's been very influential and we've learned a lot. We're able to, when we're able to correlate physical evidence with objects in the sky, we then know we have something worth studying. And when we can research things that have evidence of pulse magnetic waves collected in this manner, we may be able to learn a little bit more about this phenomenon and how they fly. Living in Virginia, um, some of our favorite hotspots are the Shenandoah Valley, and we plan to take some trips up there as well. I know there's been some, um, a lot of Bigfoot sightings and some uh, triangles and things like that that we certainly want to check out. Uh, in addition to staying on land, I also like exploring underwater and uh, scuba diving. It seems uh, to be a greater challenge finding trace evidence of USOs since we know very little about uh, underwater research like that. As much as I like scuba diving for fun, I know we have to spend more time uh, underwater researching these things, if, if at all possible, but a lot more research has to be done on um, how, how to properly do that, get the instrumentation down there, and how to find this evidence. But we hope to continue doing instrumented research as it seems to be the best way of moving forward in ufology research in order to better understand the technology we see flying around in the skies and in our oceans. We hope to see everyone out there this year in Florida, so get your tickets and come on out.